What's up YouTube? Stonebreaker does stuff and today is a beautiful yet muggy Saturday, July 13th, 2024. And perhaps for the last time, uh, for a little bit at least, I'm out here on the only bike that I have left right now. So sounds weird to say that, but I have gotten rid of all my other bikes. Uh, so we're on the Ingway 26. Yellow is the collar. And let me make sure I don't get hit by this truck real quick and then we'll get talking again. So, okay, we're good. Yeah, it's a nice day out. Uh, it's like 2.51 p.m. So a little bit later in the afternoon. But, all right, sorry guys. So uh, last person to ride this was somebody that looked at it. So I had to, uh, I forgot to change everything back as far as the settings and everything. So I tried to get that accomplished right before the ride. And as far as the adjustment levels and getting the seat back to where it was. And I don't know if I've got the seat, <laughs> the seat exactly where I like it, but it's close enough. I'm very uh, particular when it comes to the seat. <clears throat> But anyways, enough of that nonsense. So today's video, as I mentioned just a few brief moments ago, uh, will probably be the last video that I post uh, for a little bit. And how long is a little bit? I'm not for sure. So reason why is I've sold my shed, I've sold my other e-bikes, I've got the uh, Ingwe 26, which probably I'm glad that it was the one that I had left because it was probably the one that I actually liked the most, even though I loved all my e-bikes. Um, but I'm just too busy right now between having a regular job and outside things and trying to get some things accomplished and stuff. I was kind of getting to the point where, you know, doing multiple, multiple videos a week was almost like a second job and I don't know I was having more fun riding without the camera and just listening to music than I have been doing what I'm doing right now just talking to the camera um, but with that being said the channel's definitely I'm not gonna never post again um, I would probably expect instead of and I've mentioned this in some of my other videos where I was gonna probably go down in videos a little bit from like, you know, three or four a week to maybe one a week. Um, I'll still post whenever I kind of got like the urge to ride and record and stuff. But yeah, it'll probably definitely be a while. Um, I don't want to put a time frame on it, but I'll probably say. I'll post this one, uh, if all goes well, this will be posted today, same day, Saturday. I don't know how much editing we're gonna do on this, but I am gonna try to, uh, you know, in tradition, we're gonna do the whole trail again. And I'm gonna try to make this one a little bit longer. See if I can get this one up to maybe 30 minutes, since it will probably be the last video for a while. But we're definitely gonna take the trail. Uh, might ride a couple other places as well. And, um, sorry, I was just hearing something on my left. And I believe I forgot to change the pedal assist one, the percentage back. I put it real low because the dude that wrote, wrote it, the test wrote it, he's thinking about buying it, said it was too powerful for him. And so I put it down. I think I dropped it down even further, actually. I'm not for sure. <laughs> I don't know. I'll mess with all that later. It's not a huge deal or whatever. Um, I just noticed that because when I switch it to two like it is right now it's got that really loud buzzing at first and i felt like it didn't do that previously anyways um yeah i'm just rambling on right now but we're going to do the trail today and a couple things we're going to talk about i've got a lot i could talk about on this one so i might not even edit this probably just be one straight video maybe make the uh editing process and that was another reason why is uh I was spending like two, two and a half hours editing these videos. And then you factor in, you know, a 35, 40 minute ride sometimes that I would edit down to under 20 minutes. It's a lot of editing. And then you do four videos a week. And next thing you know, you've spent like, you know, 10 to 12 hours just 
on your videos for the week and you know it was getting to the hey I like doing this because it's fun to more like hey I like doing this because it's fun but I also want to try to edit it real good and stuff like that and that's not why I started this channel I was kind of getting to the point where like I felt like I was watching views and I'm like oh my god my previous video only has 90 views and it's been a week and when I started this if I would have got 90 views in 10 years I would have been happy so I want to get away from that too I want to stop worrying about the amount of views I'm getting and stuff like that because that's definitely not important to me it's never been important to me but you know I was kind of getting caught up in it a little bit and yeah we're definitely gonna go away from that so if this gets 12 views thumbs up I don't care but uh, what I do care about well, first off, I care about not getting ran over right here at this stop sign. Let's see if there's a car. Seems to always be a car recently. Hey, look at that, no car. Okay, why is the uh, throttle not going here? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Pedal assist died. What's going on? What in the world? Let me get a drink before I... So I was just literally riding and then the uh, throttle quit working and the pedal assist wasn't working. Let's try it again. Not good. Huh. Oh my God. Really? I was just talking about video is slowing down and now my video is going to be completely done. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Yeah, so I have no idea what that was about. That was really weird and kind of scary, but uh All right, I guess we're uh we're still going here. I need to get my Strava back so I know even though I can't even see it. Okay. Yeah, that was a little that's a little uh, scary, so Maybe if you don't see any videos for months and months, maybe my battery, I mean my, my bike died, but I'll put a video up if that does happen. But I still love e-bikes, don't get me wrong. I still love the Ingwe, even though it just crapped out on me for a few moments. That was actually kind of scary. But um, yeah, so I would probably say with this video, probably if you see anything a month, within a month, I wouldn't count on it, so. I'm probably gonna take a month off where I don't make any videos. I just kind of go out when I ride my bike. I just want to go out and relax and listen to music. Um, unless something, you know, I've said this all the time, unless something crazy happens, you know? Like if the earth splits in half and a 90 foot monster comes out and starts terrorizing the country. Yeah, I'm gonna record that on my e-bike. I wanna definitely get that out there, but otherwise probably expect a month. We still got a late July, mid July. So we probably got another two and a half months of riding. And I for sure want to get rides and record rides when the uh, leaves start to change. Just the other day I was going back and watching some of my videos from the uh, fall and stuff, riding the trail, especially up here when all the leaves have changed and stuff and it's just it's absolutely gorgeous. So I want to get that on camera again. Uh, but what am I going to be doing if I'm not going to be riding e-bikes? So, all right, here's where we're going to get into what I kind of wanted to talk about this video. Um, I mentioned it at the very end of my last video. So, this was a uh, e-bike channel, and then in the winter time, I threw in some gaming stuff. I'm a, a casual gamer. Um, I've got gaming systems. I've got the new systems. I have kind of been using them lately for more of just like YouTube and. Uh, movie apps and things like that. I haven't really done a whole lot of gaming. Uh, but that's about to change come Monday at 4 p.m. So I've always been a big fan of uh, college football video games. The NCAA football games were some of my favorites. I'll put a couple of the covers up here. I don't know if you guys watching an e-bike video have ever played these games, uh, but they were fantastic. They played really fast. They had like 130 different colleges, different schools, stadiums, and I just, some of my best memories as a kid is playing that game. And in 2013, they stopped making the game due to the whole issue with, you know, college athletes not getting paid. So EA Sports 
who was the main maker of those games, you know, they decided that they were done making the games. Well, February of 2021, and I remember the exact date because it was my birth month, uh, February of 2021, EA Sports sent out a tweet, just kind of like an innocent tweet, and it was like a picture of a, a football stadium, and there was like a football field, and then at the top of it, it said something like, we never forgot, or you never forgot, neither did we, and then it said uh, EA Sports College Football. So that was a teaser basically stating that, hey, guess what? At some point in the future, there's going to be a new college football game, and about like a year and a half went by and there really wasn't any big news and then we found out that the game was to be released in July slash summer of 2023 so my little heart was like yes yes I was excited for it and then my little heart just ripped in half when they uh, basically said that they were gonna delay the game for a whole year super excited for that and that's gonna be taking up a lot of the time And again, this life water, fantastic. So you guys are gonna know what I'm doing. Um, don't worry about me if I don't post for, you know, a month at least. I'm in uh, college football heaven. I've not died. I've not got arrested. I'm probably sitting in my chair in my underwear playing a video game and taking the worst college football game, the worst college football team in the game uh, taken into the national championship year after year after year. So I'm looking forward to that. Oh. You like your bikes? Yeah. <laughs> oh, thanks. I just had a. Let me see here. Yep. Yeah, nice seeing you guys too. I'll see you out here probably. probably. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. All right, so. Definitely have to edit the video now. I was trying not to edit it, but I just, uh, New people on e-bikes, I'm telling you, like the last three videos, every time I've kind of gone out here, I've seen new people on e-bikes. One of the ladies said she just got it a couple weeks ago and uh, I can't remember the other lady. But yeah, two more people on e-bikes, pretty neat, pretty cool. Uh, they like the look of the Ingwe E26, the yellow and all that fancy stuff. <clears throat> and uh, I can't even remember what I was talking about. I know I was talking about whatever, but, um, oh, okay, yeah. So I don't know if this is exactly where I left off, but, um, so when I sold the, uh, yeah, and so this is gonna be the meat and potatoes of the video. We're just gonna get right into it here. Um, but the last bike I sold was the Eohor X7. And we'll talk about here in just a second. But uh, last Sunday, I uh, sold the uh, Eohora X7. Wasn't for sure I was gonna sell it, but I, I, I posted it and I got a, a, a bite pretty quick on it. So let me tell you about this. So the uh, Eohora X7, when I bought it was, I believe $1,399, $1,400, uh, 17.5 amp hour battery. It's a thousand watt motor. Uh, did not have this seven speed Shimano, it had an eight speed. It was a you know better shifter than what's on every other bike you're gonna find. So when I posted it, I was originally gonna sell it for $800. You know, I thought that was fair. It's a $1,400 bike. It had 260 miles on it. I had about $150 in added accessories, which 
Most people aren't gonna care about that and I really didn't factor that in. So I thought $800 is fair, but I kind of posted it not thinking that, uh, well, I kind of posted it like, when I put it for 800, a lot of that was because I was not 100% for sure I was gonna sell it. Cause I, I literally posted all four bikes and I said, just post them, whatever happens, happens. So I put it at 800 and then once I like, kind of thought, well, maybe I'm actually really going to sell it. I dropped it down to seven. And uh, I believe seven is a really fair deal for that bike. And uh, I had somebody ask me questions about it. And they uh, said, well, I'm really interested, but I won't have the money for, you know, about 10 days. And I told the person, I'm like, well, to be honest with you, I'm not, you know, like incredibly in a hurry to sell it. So if you have it in 10 days, get a hold of me and maybe we can, work, you know, if you have the money in 10 days, get a hold of me, maybe we can work something out. Or, you know, if, if someone offers something else and they want to get it, you know, I'll give it to them. And a the person's like, that's perfectly fine. But I assured them that, you know, I've not really had a whole lot of luck on it. So there's a good chance that'll probably be here uh, in 10 days. But um, the next day I had the message from the guy that ended up buying it. and. I think I mentioned it was a, uh, well, first off, if you know the uh, professional wrestler, the Ultima Warrior picture right here, it was his brother. So I had noticed his brother months previously had a uh, Rad Rover e-bike for sale on Marketplace. And I noticed it was for sale forever. And then I thought, okay, maybe he sold it and he wants to uh, get another e-bike. So. That's what he told me. He said he sold the Rad Rover a little too quick. Um, so he saw my bike, thought it looked cool, wanted to ride it and test it. And I was like, okay. So we set up a time. And first off, the uh, X7 has a weight maximum of 280 and he was 275. So he was already pretty close to the maximum right there. But when he came and got it, like he, let me get this drink before I start talking for 10 minutes straight. All right, so, you know, you think having a brother that was one of the uh, biggest pro wrestlers in history, you know, probably one of the highest paid in history, even though he's, uh, the Ultimate Warrior's uh, been gone for a decade now. So this dude pulled up in like a 35-year-old car that was about ready to fall apart. He, it was a tiny car, by the way, and it was full of clothes and junk, and he came thinking about purchasing an e-bike. I don't know how he thought initially that like, you know, everything would fit in there like it would. But you know, I, uh, I guess he did. So he came and like, first thing he said is like, wow, I really like to look at this. Do you care if I take a ride on it? And I'm like, no, go ahead, take a ride. So he took a ride. I tried to uh, explain to him a little bit before he rode like, okay, here's the uh, pedal assist. Here's the gears, you know, here's how you, you know, just everything about the bike. And he's like, got it, got it. So he took it for a little ride and then he says, okay, uh, he says, I want it. So uh, he says, would you take anything lower? And I was, I told him, well, not, no, because I originally wanted 800 and I just dropped it to seven. And I feel like anything less than seven, it's, it's not worth me selling. So he's like, oh, I understand, but I've only got $660. And so me, being the uh, generous fool that I am, got, start thinking to myself, well, he drove here, it's a half hour drive and it's only $40 less, so I guess I'll do it. So he got it for 660 and he, uh, I don't think he was in good health, to be honest with you. So I had to, uh, put it in his car, which to be honest, I'm amazed that I was able to fit that bike, even fold it up in his car. Had to move trash bags everywhere, take the handlebars down, take the seat off, yada, yada, yada. So before he left, I gave him the battery and I gave him the key to the battery and showed him how everything went. So he's like, okay. So he takes it and buys it. And then about 10 minutes later, I walk outside 
and I noticed he forgot to grab the key. So I first thing I did is I sent him a message because we were communicating via Facebook. I sent him a message and I said, hey, uh, you left the key here. I'm like, if you're still relatively close, you know, I can meet you somewhere and I can bring you the key because I would feel bad if you get home and you realize you don't have the key. Well, half hour goes by, doesn't get a response. And luckily I remembered him telling me the town he lived in, but I had no idea where. So I just sent him a message. I'm like, hey, I'm like, I'm gonna drive to your town. If you can message me, you know, we can meet somewhere so you can get the key. So he eventually did reply back, like as soon as I reached his town, his town which is about half hour away. So not only did he get me for selling it for 40 bucks cheaper than what I wanted, you know, I had to drive 30 minutes there and 30 minutes back to give the key that he lost. But that's not the end all be all. That's just the story I wanted to tell here. Uh, what really got me upset is he bought it Sunday and maybe you guys can explain to me, do I have a right to be upset about this? Or, you know, have I been paid and what he wants to do with the bike is none of my business because he's paid me already. But uh, I noticed he was selling it already on Marketplace for $900. And his little uh, description of it, like there's no way some of it's truthful. So he said that, uh, he said he's, he was honest. He says he weighs 275 pounds and he can go 35 miles per hour on it. That's not correct. Um, I weigh 190 ish and the fastest I've been able to get it and this is kind of going downhill and pedaling which that guy could, could barely walk was about 32 and that's also probably factoring in that it was more realistically about 30 because I bet the uh, speedometer was a little off so there's no way he went 30 miles and 35 miles an hour he also said he just bought it brand new, which again, only got 200 and some miles on it. So e-bike world, that's pretty new, but he did not buy it brand new. I bought it brand new in October. So that kind of drove me crazy. And like, you know, they're just bikes. They're just things to uh, entertain us and give us stuff to do and, you know, give us a little bit of exercise and things like that. But you know, like I took good care of that bike. I made sure it was always inside somewhere. I paid for storage for a while. Hell, I bought a shed for my bikes that I had for three months just to make sure they were kept good. And uh, now this dude's just like trying to sell for $900, which first off, he won't be able to do. There's no way because I, I posted into the same groups he posted it into. Uh, for 800 and I had some interest a little bit, but uh, nothing intense. So he's gonna run into the same thing. But yeah, that kind of kind of got me mad a little bit, you know, like I I could have held out a little bit and got 700 But I sold it to him because he made it seem like he had just sold his, his rad rover a few weeks ago and he did it too soon and now he missed having an e-bike and you know, he says he'd be here the next morning which he was but of course he was short $40 and then he does that. So do you guys think that, uh, do I have a right to be upset by that? Like, is that something that would upset you guys if you uh, sold something to someone for pretty cheap and then you have to waste your gas to give them a key and they give you the big story about how they miss having an e-bike and the next thing you know, they're trying to sell it for $240 more than they got it off of me. I mean, at that point, if he didn't like it or whatever, he could have contacted me and I would have bought it back. That's how a uh, kind of person I am. I would have bought it back and just, you know, possibly sold it to someone else. So I don't know. That just kind of annoyed me. Just to kind of go over again, guys, if you don't see a video for me from me for like a month, don't worry. I'm not dead. I'm alive and well. Um, if you don't see a video from me for like six months, then yeah, you know, call the FBI, call your local law enforcement, you know, send me a message, make sure I'm alive because it should not be that long. And I'm also going to urge people, if you subscribe to this channel and I really wanted to try to reach 250 and I think if I put out some more content here over the next month or so, I could probably get 250. But if you're someone that's just coming to my channel, 
and you're watching this video and you're like, man, I would subscribe, but he's not gonna be on here for a while. So go ahead and subscribe anyways. I'm not, I'm not ending the channel. I'm just taking a little breaky, little breaky break. And if you're someone that's already subscribed, if you're one of the 238 people, which I hope it's, I hope it's still 238. It might be less by the time I, I post this, but uh, stay subscribed. I know how easy it is to subscribe to a channel and then you don't really watch them because they don't post content like weekly or daily or whatever, but stay subscribed. I'll be back eventually. You know, who knows, maybe a month from now, I may buy another e-bike and I might come out with a whole bunch of new videos on the new e-bike, but realistically, I would probably say, you know, August-ish, I'll probably have another video. This month break, I'm assuming, again, I don't know if it's gonna be a month, but whatever this break will be, it's also gonna give me time to take some of my videos that I have uh, on this channel and put them on the secondary channel, the Stonebreaker Crave stuff, because I really want this just to be like the GoPro, GoPro e-bike channel. And we're trying to figure the best way to do that. I was wishing like I could just magically hit a button and all those videos would just show up on the secondary channel. But my uh, Googling skill says that's not possible, but I should be able to download them from this channel and then upload on the channel I've probably got like 20, 25 of those videos. So it's, it's gonna be a little bit, that gives me a little bit of time to do that. But if you've watched any of my videos from the very first one to this one, I appreciate it. I talked about earlier that like when I started doing these videos, I didn't think anybody would watch. I didn't think I'd get one viewer or one, uh, one subscriber, maybe one viewer. But I've had some videos, like I've got a video that's over 5K. I've got a video over 2K. Uh, and I've got a few videos over 1K, and for someone with less, most of them were less than 200 subs, that's pretty good for me. That's actually really good. It's more than I ever thought, so we will see what the future holds. Uh, but the future is definitely going to hold something, so we're going to go ahead and end the video here. Again, thank you guys for watching all my videos. I'm going to take a short break on the YouTube channel. going to become a... 40 year old college football athlete, video game style. Gonna focus on kicking ass at work, uh, saving money, possibly buying a house here one of these days again, and just doing my thing. But as always, thank you guys for spending your time helping me waste my time. Let me get one more last sip of this life water. All right guys, and I will see you whenever it comes in the next one.